Hey friends, I hope you had a great 4th of July weekend full of fun with friends and family. Today I wanted to take some time to just do an update video. I know I say this pretty much every time, but uh, it's been a minute since we've done an update video. So I wanted to tell you about a couple of trip videos that are coming up and some special stuff I'm doing surrounding those videos, as well as an update for the magazine, Bare Necessity, and something that I'm gonna be doing for the fall issue. So you've seen already, I'm sure, the Yona Mountain and Black Balsam Knob overnight trip videos that posted a couple weeks ago. There's another video that I am finishing up right now. It's a three-day trip I took through Pisgah National Forest and pretty much made a 25 mile loop. I couldn't find an existing name for the route that we took. And on all trails, there is sort of an entry or, you know, route created for it, but it's like a word salad listing every single trail that was taken, you know, to put this loop together. And that's just, that's a mouthful. I'm not gonna spend time typing that entire paragraph of trail names out. So I'm gonna call it the Pisgah Circuit. The word has a couple of meanings, meaning like a, a loop or a continuous path that, you know, ends where it begins. And also it can mean like a series of events done in order. And that is kind of the way the route goes is you hit these different scenic spots in order. But so yeah, that's just kind of the thinking behind it. And it also just sounds much better than listing every single trail name of the paths taken to complete the loop. With the itinerary for it, I'm really gonna try to go the extra mile and put in as much helpful information as possible from like hand-drawn maps and elevation profiles to pictures that I've taken along the trip and just any information that I feel is very important to communicate to anyone who's interested in the trip that I couldn't find or get like answers for before my own trip. But now doing it, I have that information, I have that knowledge to then pass on. So this definitely is not a trip that I would recommend for beginners, just because some of the obstacles, uh, it can be overwhelming if you don't have experience. So gonna put as much into that itinerary as I can and some fun stories that don't show up in the video into that trail journal on the blog. And I'm hyping this thing up a whole lot, so let me just go ahead and show you the one to two minute teaser trailer I put together. This is just a small segment from the second day of the trip. Waking up on the trail never loses the magic for me. And neither does roaming these mountains I know so well. of damage to the trails we would be taking. Hopefully that gets you excited to see the full video. Right now it's looking like about 20 minutes. A lot happened and a lot had to be cut to make it like a reasonable length of time that any person would sit through without just you know, getting bored, losing their mind, or wondering how much longer it will be. The last thing I'll say about this trip is I am going to be doing a custom postcard for it. So those of you who already 
receive postcards from my trips. You know the drill, but this is something I do just for free. You can sign up on my website and I send you postcards from my trip. Well, for this one, I did a little bit of graphic design and work with a filter over a picture from the trip that I thought was really cute. It's right here, me and Barrett crossing a bridge, going through the balsam grove. So that is going to be a special custom postcard that I send out for this trip before the premiere date. So if you're interested in that, you can go on my website and you can put in the notes section if you want to receive just that one postcard or if you'd like to receive future postcards. And if a lot of you are interested in that and want me to continue to do it, then I'll probably start doing more custom postcards that have an image from the trip or something that really reflects the trip. Side note, if you do get postcards from me and you're tired of getting them, just shoot me an email and say, hey, don't send me this anymore. We have another video coming up soon. So way back when I did the Q&A video, somebody asked, do you have any intention of ever exploring Panther Town Valley? And I said yes and showed that I went ahead and bought the map. Well, it's been a long time since then, but I have finally gotten around to exploring, well, more like just scratching the surface of Panther Town. So Jordan and I took the dogs for like a base camp trip and we stayed for three days, two nights, and just explored what was in our immediate area near where we were camped. So that video is gonna be more of like a vlog style, not the full, you know, narration and all this extra stuff that I tend to do with my other trip videos. And there's not gonna be an itinerary or a um, trail journal for it, just a fun video of our family trip. Somebody decided to throw up all over the sleeping pad in the tent. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No, Nora, no. Show some sense of shame. Do that and bring my bikini. Ha I want to set the record straight. Jordan loves adventure. He likes exploring cool places. He just doesn't like hauling a 25 pound pack through really rugged terrain, which I don't blame him. I love that kind of stuff, hence all the crazy difficult trips that I did last year. But so he, he doesn't like that kind of stuff and I get it. So we have to find like a happy medium, a middle ground. And this place was perfect for that. We had such a good time, in fact, that before the trip was over, we started talking about like how soon we can go back and where we would camp next time and i think in a couple months we're gonna take another trip out there and see what other stuff we can see so now let's talk about 
an update for the magazine, Bare Necessity. Something that's going to be new for the fall issue is I'm gonna be accepting submissions for specifically the Tales from the Trail column. And uh, if you read the summer issue, that's just a short story from a backpacking trip, story from the trail that sort of goes with the theme or season of that issue. So the kind of working theme or topic for the fall issue is going to be base camping and cooking. So I'm working on right now just a full menu for your next base camp adventure for three days, two nights worth of meals. On the website, there is now a place where you can submit your tale from the trail that has to do with cooking. And this can be on a backpacking trip, a camping trip, just that general topic. It can be a funny story. It can be a story about where something went terribly wrong, but it's kind of you know, something you laugh at in retrospect. It can be an inspiring story, like maybe you perfected this recipe and it just changed your life, whatever. And there's going to be kind of like a gear item giveaway for whoever's story is selected. So in addition to your story being featured in the fall issue and links to ways that the readers can support you, whether that's your social media handles, your channel, your own blog, however that is that they can follow and support you being included in the final column. You'll also receive a surprise gear item that goes along with the theme of the issue. And so it'll have something to do with cooking or base camping. I've got a couple of ideas of what it'll be, just something small to say thank you and something you can put to use. Uh, from that whole theme that is featured in that issue. The submission window for that is July 1st to July 31st. So last day of July, it will close. And then that gives me some time all of August to work with whoever's story is selected. If you are interested in that, you want to submit your story for Tales from the Trail for the fall issue, just go to the website. There's a couple ways you can do that. Just put in the website address slash submissions or from the home page go to the drop down menu for read click magazine and there's a red banner right there that says if you want to submit your story click here so a couple ways that you can get to it and as always links to everything i'm talking about will be in the description if you've watched this long through the update video Thank you so much. Before I let you go, just wanted to remind you of the ways that you can support this channel. One, you can go subscribe to that newsletter I send out by email every three months. You can also check out my support page on the website where I have some of the itineraries that I have written from trips I've taken. You can also get a subscription to the magazine which I'm currently working on writing the fall issue for. I'm also now on Buy Me A Coffee. And so the link to that, along with the links from everything else described here today, will be in the description. And uh, I really like it as an alternative to Patreon. We've been over this a couple times. There were a lot of reasons why I did not like Patreon and chose to deactivate it. And so this seems like a really good alternative, just a way that you can show your support. In fact, I believe you don't even have to make an account. There's no like monthly commitment or anything like that. If you just want to donate to the channel, donate to the blog one time, you can go on and do that hassle free. But so thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind.